this is Ron at Campbell Scientific. Today I'm going to walk through how to program the 16 touch keypad for a uh, start delay of a time day program with intervals set at 15 minutes on a composite sampler. When you very first turn it on, you're going to see something come up that will say sampling halted, power failure, or something similar. The first thing we want to do is look at it and when it comes up and if it shows the clock, see if that time is correct. If not, or if you're not seeing that, we want to be able to check the clock and make sure it's set correctly. So the first thing we're going to do is push the set and it says set what? We want to do the number three other options. Now it will come up and be flashing with some kind of a uh, message on here it says purge time while we're here we do want to look at the purge time for a 25 foot hose you do want to have 10 seconds at uh, the recommended flow rate for the EPA at two and a half feet per second uh, is what that will do uh, is guaranteed so we want to check that if it's not at 10 seconds for 25 feet or if you have a longer hose you'll want to change that for example, if I had a 50 foot hose, I would want to change that to 20 seconds and then press enter. So that is entered now and then I want to enter again and you'll see the purge time is now flashing. So what I'm going to do is either right or left arrow key until I see the clock. Now you will see that there are some other options there available, pinch valve, and if you were to check that we want it left at normally open. Uh, fault shut down and the clock and so we want to come up to the clock and press enter and it's showing right now 2 19 p.m. Friday uh, February 20th of 2015 and that's pretty close if it doesn't match then you're just going to go ahead and let's say it's 230 here instead I'm going to change that to 0 2 3 0 and then I have to press enter to get it to go to the p.m. So if yours is showing AM instead, we're going to change that from AM to PM. And if you want to change, uh, if the day is not correct, once again, you just press enter. You select the correct day, correct day, and then flash again uh, or enter until it's flashing each time for the different settings. So our clock is now set. Now we're going to go ahead and set the program. And so we're going to push set, start delay number four and mine has time slash day already flashing but let's just scroll through either left or right arrow and look at the other options as well you can select for a pulse input if you've got a flow meter uh, if you have a pressure transducer that you want to do a pulse input there's a lot of different options here uh, 4 to 20 milliamp of course again that could be a flow meter or other things uh, external contact if you had a water level uh, sensor of some kind and you just wanted to have that be able to trigger the sampler so there's different things um, we want to do the time and day so we're going to press enter and let's say that I want to have it start on Monday at 8 a.m. so I'm going to go 0 8 0 0 press enter that will move it to the p.m. a.m. and I want to change it to a.m and enter again and I want to move that to Monday so it will begin on Monday at 8 a.m. so now we press enter that has been put into the brains of the controller now I want to set my interval time and so we're going to do a set number five on the sample initiation and you will see the interval time comes up there first on mine yours may be, have something different and let's just go through those again you can do a pulse input for 20 external contact we can disable that but we're going to do the interval time and so we press enter and uh, at the first I said I was going to program this for a 15 minute interval time and if you want something different if you want to have it go every hour you would just uh, go down here and let's say you want to have it every one hour you would put a one in at this point and then two zeros but I'm going to leave it at the 15 minutes and so I'm going to press enter that one is now set and now we need to set for how many samples we're going to take and so we're going to do program type uh, this is for a composite sampler as I mentioned at the first but uh, the other options just so you can see we have a daily cycle we can run uh, consecutive for a discrete sampler multi-composite 
Uh, we can do a timed step, uh, but we're going to go with the composite. So we press enter, and let's say that you're taking uh, a 100 milliliter sample each time. We have a 9 liter bottle in the base, so 900 milliliters would be the, the most that you could take. And so we want to change that uh, in this case. And maybe we don't. Maybe we only want to take 890 milliliters instead and leave it at that just to be safe so that it doesn't overflow the bottle in any way. Uh, but uh, we could go to, to 90. And so to do that, we would just go here with the left right arrow or pushing the zeros, enter that terminate after 90 samples so it was shut down quit taking samples we press enter and we are ready to go but to get the, the sampler to begin we want to push the restart button twice it is now set and ready to run and so we could leave this sitting here from now until next monday morning and at 8 a.m it would begin sampling it would take uh, 90 100 milliliter samples and then shut uh, or turn off, shut off, and it would take those at every uh, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever it's set at. Now, at some point, if you wanted to come along while it's running, you want to know how many samples it's taking, you could just push the view, samples taken. Of course, we can see right now it says zero, but uh, that will tell us that. If we go here and we want to see what the remaining time is before it starts, and it says we've got 65 hours, 25 minutes, and 49 seconds counting down. And so that would be Monday morning, uh, just at a quick guess, that this will trigger. Now, if you wanted to go back to anything else, uh, you would have to push the restart button to go back to this main window. But if you do that, that's going to reset the sampler and start over. And so now what I've done is just restarted it, and it's ready to, to take off come Monday morning when it needs to begin sampling.